Hello everybody, um, SBK here brings you another uh, Warcraft 3 audio commentary and this is going to be between Grubby and Moon, this is game 3 for NG01 season 6 and we see Grubby is of course a uh, green orc player spawning at uh, 10 o'clock on Echo Isles and this is going to be Moon, uh, uh, is going to be the red night elf player spawning at uh, 2 o'clock on Echo Isles. This map, um, this being the smallest map possible, has the uh, inspired a lot of different strategies especially for night elves and they can do mass huntresses versus anybody pretty much except undead how <laughs> not not elves can mass huntresses except uh, except against undead or they can um, do something crazy like um, just mass I I've seen a replay where night elves mass, uh, built a lot of freaking Asian wars they built Asian wars here uh, built like seven or eight of them and just walked and <laughs> walked yeah, they walked all the Asian wars built from here, but they walked all the way here and eat through the trees and went straight to the other player's main. The other player had no idea this was coming. And back the Asian wars were backed up by dryads and oh man, that was that was a hell of a game. Um <laughs> anyways, <laughs> we're not gonna wait we're, we're back in this game. Um we, the pros, I think pros would scouted that around uh before it, it actually happens, but still uh, it was an entertaining game to watch. Um, anyway, we're gonna see, we're gonna see <laughs> Gravy is gonna do a standard orc build. No more, uh, no more alter P on go to gold thing. It's standard orc, very standard. Shop, and then this is peon's gonna put, put on a shop. And the scouting peon's gonna see Asian war creeping and standard, standard night, standard, uh, standard night elf base blocking. And, um, speaking of base blocking, I'm, I'm, uh, here in about a uh, less than a week, I say in a few days, I'm gonna release a video of uh, how do how do you base block with uh, undead as undead, because base block is the most important. I cannot stress this enough. Base block is the most important uh, phase of undead play gameplay. Uh, if you cannot b base block your gold mine from uh, anything, from say from say a uh, mountain king or blade master harass, then your entire game is lost. Even even undead in undead mirror games, if you if you don't ba properly base block, you can get um, harassed by uh, skeleton warriors. DK with skeleton, uh, I mean uh, DK or uh, Lich with skeleton warriors can just pretty much harass the crap out of you. Um, Moon try to find the uh, blade master, but what, that's not gonna happen. Uh, Grubby is smarter than that. And uh, no tier, th no tier three. That's a lot of freaking lumber peon. Oh my god, that's like six lumber peons. Oh man! All right, <laughs> Gravy is gonna uh, finish off this uh, trapper here. Moon try to desperately try and find that uh, uh, blame master. Where that? Where that uh, mofo? <laughs> uh, where that freaking imbalanced mofo? Um, here we go. Tier two is gonna go up for Gravy, and that's the. I can't get over how many lumber peons this is. So eight of them. Look at this. Eight. Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four. Wait. One, two. That's six, seven, seven, seven. I thought I, I thought I saw a building build um, building being built. That's why, that's why I thought it was seven number PM. But anyway, we're gonna see Grubby's do a frontal push, and Grubby's and Moon's gonna do some shopping. Picked up a dust. I believe Grubby grabbed the grabbed the uh, boot. So Moon knows exactly where Grubby is, but uh, he doesn't want to waste the dust. Um, the grounds are showing here for some reason, uh, looking cute. Uh, here we go. Take a picture. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of boring, so I gotta try to do what I can to um, keep this game interesting. This archer is gonna get killed. Um, hidden shop from Moon. Um, normally you don't see that often. Normally that's where you build a hunter's hall. But <laughs> anyway, Moon still walk. That demon hunter is doing marathon in the middle of the map. Uh, maybe Gravy looking to creep the Moon's natural off with the two grounds. And yeah, there we go. And Moon's gonna do more shopping, or maybe try to catch Blade Master at the sh to sh at the shop. And yep, there's gonna be another DOS build from Moon. And let's see if he goes the Keeper of the Grove again. In the, on Asian Isles, it worked for him good because uh, oh oh wait, it worked for, it worked for him because he uh, he harassed Grubby left and right, and uh, getting a lot of burrow kills. Um, Oh man, that ground needs to be oh that ground needs to be blocked. Oh, here we go, nice block by Grubby. Um, and yeah, the gr Moon has to back away. Uh, that archer should be dead by now. I, I, there's no excuse for for Grubby to keep the archer alive. 
Um, maybe maybe he doesn't want to waste two one walks on one archer, but but I, I personally would have got the ar archer out of there. Uh, anyway, we're gonna see a tier two is out for a moon. Moon's gonna go straight to tier three. Oh my god! How many lump? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven l lumber wisps for our moon as well. So uh, so we <laughs> this is kind of a lumber heavy game now. And Gravy is going to pick up Torn Chieftain, I believe. Oh yeah. He, as soon as he see, I feel I feel like as soon as he see the Blade Beastmaster, he's gonna go for Torn Chieftain. Um, and where is his tier two buildings? Um, man, Gravy's gonna lose because he losing with too many barrel burrows again. I, I think that's gonna be a mistake. That's there's the archers who've been dead a long time ago, but still lives. <laughs> this is what you get for leave, keeping an archer. Oh, the archer's gonna balls that ground inside, and Gravy's gonna try to micro. Okay. Use a Blade Master one walk trick to trick that grunt out outside. Now Blade Master is gonna get blocked inside, and the Demon Hunter is gonna catch his TP away here. Um, the Blade Master is gonna be fine. Um, the Beast Master, okay, the Beast Master TP away as well. So great defense by Grubby. Grubby learned what he did learn from game one, and Spirit Launch is putting down. Where is that Beast Fury? Um, Grubby, I don't think Grubby got a ground upgrade. Oh, there's a Beast Fury. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gravity didn't get grounds upgrade because grounds are just pretty much useless during dots against dots, and and uh, gravity is going to get a level level three blade master and maybe a level three torn chieftain before he start coming to a fight. And here, here comes Moon. Moon's going to try to harass Grubby. Meanwhile, he's going to queue up a lot of units in his to win. Um, Raider is going to come. Raider is going to pop out with Snare being researched, I believe. Yep. And he's gonna creep off his nat his natural here with Torn Chieftain. Meanwhile, he's playing master and trying to spot where trying to spot where uh, Moon might have creeping. And here comes Moon's gonna try to do more burrow raping. Um, and the burrow is gonna get it's gonna go down here without a uh, proper repair. That burrow is gonna repair about seven peons. Oh my God! Gravity's gonna run out of wood before. Okay, <laughs> Gravity's gonna be red again. Gravity can't can't make any units anymore. And that, that demon hunter is in in very big trouble here. Demon Hunter is gonna get killed by peons, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, the Beast Master staff back the staff back the uh, the uh, Demon Hunter, but still Beast Master in trouble. Beast Master is very low here. Um, let's see how um, Beast Master is about 200 health, and Blade Master couldn't. I don't, know, I, I don't think. I don't think Blade Master is gonna get this Beast Master here. Let's see. I really don't think so though. Um, more harassment in Grubby's base, and um, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, Grubby decided to uh, decide to back off, back away from the pursuit. And meanwhile, he's gonna creep off this uh, shop, uh, the shop here. Um, now, Spirit Walk, first Spirit Walker is out, and let's see the yeah, dispel, dispel research, and nothing major happening. Moon trying to creep, still worry about that Blade Master around, and <laughs> which which he is. Moon's gonna try to. Um, pull creeps and the blade master. Oh man, this is what uh, you got. I, I strongly suggest you guys don't do this with the blade master. You, you can't run around with the blade master in the water because for people like me, I'm a little paranoid. The more the more paranoid than anybody else, and I'm looking when I'm when I'm at a creeping water against the orc. I always look for footprints that's not left but left behind by my uh, by my own units. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. Um, if you're blade master in one walk form, but walk over water, it's, it leaves a uh, splash of water and the footprints. Uh, just like he's leaving footprints right here. But uh, when I whenever I'm creeping water like here or in other maps, um, I 